Lord Mayor and Lady Mayoress, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening of the Library of Birmingham. Can I first ask you to welcome the Deputy Leader of Birmingham City Council, Councillor Ian Ward. This is a very special moment for Birmingham and its people. Not only are we opening a landmark building, but one that will transform the role of libraries for the 21st century. With this amazing building, we have a new iconic image redefining Birmingham as a city of learning, knowledge, and for the future. With its collections and the access to knowledge and learning that it provides, the Library of Birmingham can and will change people's lives. There have, of course, been many, many people, uh, probably over 5,000 people, who have had a contribution to make to the creation of the Library of Birmingham. But no one individual can claim to be its creator any more than Francine Huben, the principal of our architects, Meccano. Today, the 3rd of September 2013, is a new day in Birmingham. A new day in Birmingham because of what we achieved together. You dared to initiate this ambitious project, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Only few people in the world will experience what it takes to realize such an ambitious building. And above all, during the whole process, you cared on a human level, the users of the library. As Brian Gambles always points out, this library is also about books and archives and photography and music, but most of all about people, the people of Birmingham. For me, libraries are the cathedrals of the 21st century. Together, we succeeded in realizing a people's palace. It's bold and refined. It has circles and shadows that offers new perspective and horizons on the city. Treasure it and raise it further to be the world-class example of the library in the 21st century, but above all, a world-class library for the people of Birmingham. This is the library of Birmingham, but it's also the library for Birmingham. But it's more than that, it's a library of national and indeed international significance. And the role that libraries play is of course critical in creating healthy communities. And it's an important symbol uh, for us that we are able here to welcome today as well, the Minister for Culture, Ed Vasey. It's Europe's largest library. It's an ode to the book, but it's also an ode to the 21st century, to technology, to digital entrepreneurs who will come uh, and work here, uh, but above all, it's an ode to Birmingham. It's a symbol of the confidence of Europe's youngest city and one of its most vibrant, and it's a privilege to be here today at its opening. Honorable and distinguished guests and fellow Broomies. <laughs> it is a great honor for me to be here in Birmingham the beating heart of England. Pens and books are the weapons that defeat terrorism. I truly believe the only way we can create global peace and prosperity is only reading, knowledge, and education. Dear sisters and brothers, books are very precious. Some books travel you back centuries, and some take you to the future. In some book, you will visit the core of your heart, and in others, you will go out into the universe. As one said, a room without books is like a body without soul. And I say, a city without books and a city without library is like a graveyard. Let us not forget that even one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world. Thank you so much.
it's very impressive. When I came in, it's even more amazing than I thought it would be. It's um, well planned and desi designed. The architecture is amazing. And the volume of books, it's, it's overwhelming, really. I think it's a great asset to Birmingham City Centre. mind-boggling isn't it? it really is a bit special. My uh, daughter and grandson were here earlier uh, and he really enjoyed the, um, the children's section. Uh, I think there was so much for him to look at he just couldn't take it all in. <laughs> yes but it's absolutely amazing seeing it and when you look compare the the architecture with the old building it's so much improved so much lighter. People know that libraries have got books and archives and stuff, but actually it's what people do with those, and quite often that's about discovering authors, discovering literature, discovering histories, discovering stuff about themselves quite often. So discovery as a sort of motif is, is absolutely crucial for us. There's lots of interactive type things going on, lots of touch displays, lots of electronics. Um, there's one particular thing that we're really pleased with, and that's this huge, great big touch table. Um, and it's got all sorts of little examples of, of different bits taken from the archive, and you can sort of move things around, and you can drag things around and open things up, and learn different things um, about some of the different content that the library's got. September, but uh, George Dawson uh, gave a very inspiring speech. We've heard inspiring speeches uh, here today uh, as well, of course. He said, there's probably no word of the human vocabulary which brings a greater crowd of thoughts to the educated man's mind than that blessed word, library. For a library is one of the greatest causes, as it is also one of the greatest results of man's civilization. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, I'm impressed by the size of it, which is far bigger than I expected, um, and the bright openness of it all, the way the light pours in. And I really like the effect of the oldly worldly interior as well. Um, I think it's fantastic that Birmingham's now got one of Europe's biggest libraries, um, and it's clearly a social space as well as a learning space, and uh, just seems to have a lot going on. I cannot help but be excited about something that is about creativity, that is about learning, that is about discovering. This is what life is about what this library is about and there are very few things that are more important than that. It's such a unique building. We didn't think we would have something like this. Did we? we do have something to hold on and we should cherish it and, and really build on it to make it the, the building that we certainly want. It's become a second home to be honest, so it's my library and your library as well.